The story begins with a gyru named Akari Watanabe, making a wish to a shrine. Meanwhile, a fellow student named Shirori Sakurazaka goes up the stairs to the shrine, but trips and ends up falling on Akari's waist. After that, Shirori asks her if she's there regarding her partner for the marriage practical, but Akari denies so and runs away. We are then explained what the marriage practical is, a part of high school necessary for graduation, where two students are chosen to live together as a mock married couple. Then in a new dorm, they're monitored by a sensor that monitors how they behave with each other, and grades them depending on that. At the end of the month, the top 10 students with the most points, A rank, are given the opportunity to change partners. We're now introduced to our protagonist, Jiro Yakuin, a student with confidence issues, alongside his best friend, Sadaharu Kamo. They get interrupted by Akari, who tells them to make way. As Jiro complains about her personality to Sadaharu, we're introduced to Minami, one of the most popular boys in school, and Akari's love interest. Now in class, Shirori talks to Jiro about the marriage practical. She's Jiro's childhood friend and first love, who still has a huge crush on. Not knowing that she feels the same way towards him, he constantly shrubs off any thoughts of her liking him as nonsense. After the couples are selected, Jiro ends up paired with Akari, which ends up bothering the both of them. She then teases him with Shirori, as he wanted to be paired up with her. Due to their bickering, their score drops to minus 3. Akari then demands him to get along, so they can reach the A rank and change their pairing. Embarrassed at the implications of getting along, he is comforted by Akari, making the ranking go up to minus 2. Jiro then leaves to buy a drink, but ends up seeing Shirori with Minami. He overhears that they both have ended up paired together, which makes him run away. Back at his dorm, he's now depressed, but Akari tries to cheer him up. She tells him again to reach a rank so that can be with Shirori, but are interrupted by Sadaharu, who invites Jiro out. As he's leaving, Akari demands a goodbye kiss to reduce the negative points, and due to being pressured by both of them, he misunderstands, and ends up kissing her on the lips instead of on the cheek. This makes the point tally go back up to zero. Later, Jiro wakes up to Shirori telling him that if he doesn't wake up, she'll kiss him, only for her to then headbutt him. He then wakes up again, realizing that it was actually Akari telling him to wake up. One week later, Jiro sees Shirori and Minami walk together. He then suddenly sees her grabbing Minami's arm, making Jiro be depressed again. Later that day, Akari tells him that he's going to karaoke with Manami. After that, Jiro meets up with a teacher who warns him that since his score has remained zero for a week, he's currently at serious risk of not graduating. After this, he's now sitting at the entrance of the school, but Shirori ends up running into him. Out of nowhere, she grabs his arm, and it's revealed she did so because she thought she saw a bug at first. He then realizes she did the same Minami back then because a bug scared her. Since Jiro only calls her by her last name, and doesn't have the courage to do otherwise, she asks him to call her by her first name instead, but he can't bring himself to do so. Minami then shows up to hand her the umbrella she forgot, and Jiro insists she and Minami should head back to their dorm together, leaving her disappointed. Akari meanwhile is seen waiting outside in the rain. Jiro still at school, is approached by Akari with an umbrella. Later, as they walk down a path, she reprimands him for not leaving with Shirori, and tells him not to give up, as she also wants to be with Minami. Now at home, Akari has made them dinner, and helps him write down love on his food. He then tries to spoon-feed her, and after initially refusing, she accepts. They then end up locking eyes with each other, only for Jiro to be interrupted by a call from Sadaharu, who he then thanks for the save. Shirori knocks on Jiro's door, and asks him if he'll stay with her. He then wakes up, realizing it was just another dream, but he then hears Akari knocking on his door. She asks him to stay with her just for this night. They then watch a horror movie, as she heard that doing it so late at night, raises a lot of points, but it doesn't work, and he turns the TV off. She then tells him to wear matching pajamas she bought earlier, and asks him to face the other way as she's going to change her clothes there. He begins to do the same, but then a blackout happens thanks to a thunderstorm, which makes Akari hug him out of fear. Thanks to this though, the point tally goes up to 15. Jiro reaches for his phone, and turns on his flashlight, only to see that Akari is crying, which makes her shove his head as she didn't want him to look at her. As the locks to their room are digital, and activated only with their fingerprints, they are unable to access them while the power is out. She asks him to tell a funny story, but ends up telling a horror one, making her angry. But then, she holds his hand, and asks him if she can depend on him a little. She then turns on a candle, and rests on Jiro's shoulder. He then hugs her, and tells her that she's cute, but quickly regrets it, but thankfully notices that she's fallen asleep already. He then holds her hand, and ends up falling asleep as well. 
but Akari is shown to have heard everything he said. At the end of the month, they both have finished in the 12th position with 15 points. They then noticed that Minami and Shirori have finished semi-first in the E ranking. Jiro though worried about Shirori, is a little happy that things between her and Minami aren't working out, but also keeps in mind that they also need to reach rank A in order to change partners. Back in his room, he's now sick with a cold, alone at home because Akari left with her friends earlier. He then hears the doorbell ring, and is surprised to find that it's Shirori. At a coffee shop, Akari is having lunch with her friends, Natsumi and Saki. They talk about how these pancakes are supposed to feel like a kiss, but this makes Akari think back to the time when Jiro kissed her, making her blush, and vehemently deny that they feel like one. Back at Jiro's dorm, Shirori reveals that it was Akari, the one who called her over so she could take care of him. Jiro tries to again deny his feelings for her as to not get hurt once more, and has a flashback to back when they were younger. Back then, Shirori had to change schools, and he had decided to confess to her the day she was leaving. But he was interrupted by her, who asked him if he will always stay her friend. Back in the present, Jiro finishes eating Shiori's food. After talking about their mock marriages, and about how she's struggling with hers, she tells him that it might have been better if he were her husband, but then says it was a joke. Jiro then promptly holds her hand, and calls her by her first name, telling her that she can pass this test, but he then quickly apologizes and hides under his sheets. After a bit, he falls asleep. Shirori tells him while he sleeps, that she was so happy because he finally called her by her first name, and approaches him for a kiss. Back at the coffee shop, Akari's friends are teasing her with Jiro and Minami, only to notice that she's just staring blankly into space. Back in Jiro's room, Shirori stops herself before she kisses him. She then has a flashback to time she had to change schools. After Juro failed to confess to her, she tries to tell him that she'd like to go with him somewhere when she comes back, but Jiro interrupts her, saying that he has to go and leaves ignoring her. Later, Akari comes back home and takes a shower. After that, Jiro thanks her for calling Shirori over and tells her that he'll try his best to be a good husband, so that she can end up with Minami, but this only leaves her wondering why she feels so annoyed at him saying that. Akari and Jiro are having lunch in their dorm. She asks him what do men like girls to do for them. He tells her that they like home-cooked lunches. They begin making one, and she has Jiro try her food. He tells her he likes sweet rolled omelets better, but she tells him that those won't work as Minami has a mature vibe to him. As they enjoy their food, the point tally goes up to 19. Now at school, Jiro eats his lunchbox next to Sadaharu. He teases him with Akari, but he stops him, saying that he doesn't want to make things awkward with her back home. Then, Akari approaches him, and asks him how the lunch was, but end up getting into an argument over it. Back home in the morning, Akari has prepared a lunch box for Minami. She has Jiro have the last piece of the rolled omelette, which is still not sweet, and that action makes the point tally go up to 23. Before she leaves, she asks Jiro to do the goodbye thing the other day, claiming that it made her feel safe. He gets close to her, but are interrupted by the doorbell, so he go to open the door, and find Shirori outside. She came to leave them some apple pies she made since she ended up making too many for Minami as there were a request from him since he likes sweet things. This makes Akari sad, but he tries to cheer her up. He ends up sort of fumbling it though, as he tells her that any guy would want to have relations with her. She asks him if he's ever thought about that with her, but he denies having done so. She calls him a liar, and gets on top of him, and asks him again repeatedly. She begins taking off her clothes, but Jiro has an uneasy feeling and stops her, saying that this is something one only does with someone they love. She gets off of him, and as she smiles, she says to stop this married couple thing. After that, their married life fell apart, with their point tally dropping down to two. Now at the end of the month, Minami and Shirori notice that they have now ended up in the A rank in the 8th position, but they also notice that Jiro and Akari have ended up 75th this time. Jiro thinks back to when Akari got on top of him, thinking that she was at first playing a joke on him, but then noticed that she was for real. As he noticed she was feeling nervous, he wonders if that was her first time doing something like that. He then encounters Shirori, who asks for some time alone with him. They head to the balcony, and she asked him if something happened between him and Akari, to which he responds that they had a fight, and that he couldn't find the right timing to apologize. She tells him that Akari will understand him, encouraging him. Juro goes back to his dorm with the point counter displaying zero, and asks to have a word with Akari. She lets him into her room, and he apologizes for what happened. She gets angry, claiming that it was her fault, and tells him to forget about it. Jiro then tells her that the reason he stopped back then, was because he felt he had to treat her with more care than that. He then asks her have things be like the way they were before, and asks her for another chance of being her husband. 
Akari laughs at him, saying that what she meant back then was more of a vibe, since they couldn't stop actually being one because of school. She tells him that she's enjoying the married life more than she thought she would, and teases Jiro, telling him that she likes him quite a lot, but then says it was just a prank. They then end up in good terms again. Now on her balcony, she thinks on how she finally told Jiro that she likes him. In gym class, Akari talks with her friends, as Jiro stares at Shirori. He watches as both Shirori and Akari stare at Minami playing basketball, which makes him feel down. Saki tells Akari a rumor about how Minami isn't going to swap partners. Sadaharu is told the same rumor to Jiro, which makes him further depressed. He then pictures Minami as the hero of a video game who gets both Akari and Shirori, while he sees himself as a background character. After class, Akari puts the gym equipment back in its place, but is surprised by Minami, who is also helping with the equipment. Shocked, she ends up clumsily clashing against a shelf, which makes a box fall off of it. Minami rushes, and moves her away before it falls on her head. As she notices her heart still races from Minami, she becomes relieved, and wonders why would she even need to feel relief at that. She then asks Minami if he'll stay with Shirori forever, and he responds that if Shirori is alright with that, he might as things are going well. This makes her cry, but says that she only got dust in her eye. Minami then approaches her, and tells her to look at him in the eyes. As that happens, Sadaharu tries to find Jiro in the utilities room, but end up seeing Minami and Akari, who are from his point of view, apparently kissing each other. On his way out, Shirori approaches Jiro, who asks him why he's feeling down. He then asks her if she'll stay by Minami's side forever. She answers that she doesn't know, and that she can't decide alone if she'll switch partners. As she tells him that if he made it up to A rank, she stops herself and tries to leave, but Jiro stops her, ensuring her that he'll make it to A rank. But just as he's just about to ask her something, Sadaharu abruptly comes out of nowhere, and interrupts him. He tries to tell him what he saw in the gym, but Akari and Minami show up. Shirori and Minami then leave together, and then, a seemingly sad Akari tells Jiro to head back to class. Later, Jiro overhears Akari's friends say that Akari left early. Sadaharu then tells him that he saw Manami and Akari kissing, but Jiro tells him that he doesn't care, though he ends up feeling down over it. Back home, he finds Akari on the couch. After he's initially ignored by her, he sits down next to her, and says that he's sorry for not being Minami. She asks him why he's bringing him up, and then reveals that he heard that they kissed. Depressed, he says that he'll cheer for them, but she then starts laughing, saying that all he was doing back then was check for dust in her eyes. Akari explains to him how Minami won't look her way even after trying hard, and begins to cry. Juro then suddenly grabs her by her shoulders, but she doesn't want him to look at her like this. He hugs her, saying that he can't see her now, which prompts her to cry harder as she hugs him back. Now at night, he claims to himself that he panicked at that moment. Akari then leaves the shower, and sits right next to him on the couch. She then reveals to him that her kiss with him was her first time kissing someone, but he ends up blanking out after that reveal. As Juro is about to leave to class, Akari helps him with his tie, but she notices him staring down at her boobs, making her choke him. She then rests her head on his chest, and tells him to take care. As this raises the point tally to 14, she stops doing it and leaves. At the school, Jiro has class duties with one of her classmates, Mei, and finds Shirori in the classroom instead as she took over for her. Later on she has lunch with Mei, and asks her why she doesn't confess to Jiro, but she tells her that he doesn't think of her that way. She advises her to kiss him, but then says that she's just joking. Meanwhile, Akari is having lunch with her friends. They tease her with Jiro, jokingly saying that they'll support their relationship. Akari blushes at this, but reassures them that the man for her is still Minami. Back in the classroom at noon, Jiro and Shirori almost finished with their duties. Akari back in the school, walks down a corridor, wondering why Jiro hasn't read her messages, but ends up seeing him with Shirori in classroom. She stares at them for a moment, but ends up leaving. As Jiro and Shiori's erasers clash for a moment, she asks him to close his eyes and lean down. It seems like they're going to kiss, only for her to tell him that he had dust on him. Shirori then thinks to herself that she wasn't able to go through with it, apologizing to Mei. Back in his dorm, Akari approaches a melancholic Jiro on their balcony. After talking for a bit, she asks him to call her by her first name, as he only has called her by her last name Watanabe so far. She then tells him that if she ever lost confidence and he happened to be by her side, it'd be comforting if he did so. He then mutters aka Ri, to her surprise. He apologizes and says to forget it happened, but she instead tells him to say it again. But she suddenly gets mad and tells him that it's irritating for her to use his first name while he only uses her last name, as if she was the only one in love. 
She blushes at this, and tries to explain that it was just hypothetical for the practical, and rushes back into her room. Juro tells himself that there's no way she feels that way since she has Ninami, while she tells herself that she's so confused. Now at class, the students are told they'll have to do special tests. At noon after class, Akari tells Jiro she's going to karaoke, but after finding out she doesn't have any clue on what to do regarding the test, he forces her to go home with him to study. Later, Akari demands a break after only having done a handful of problems. She then sits right next to Jiro, and tells him she'll do anything he wants. But he fiercely replies that they're going to study, with her then saying that her plan to stop studying failed. He then notices that Akari actually solved the problem, and encourages her to keep on going. After some time, she finally finishes, and teases Jiro again by calling him sensei. She asks of calling him that made his heart race, but he doesn't reply, so she then sits on him and asks again. She turns around and faces him, and tells him that he can look all he wants. He tries insanely hard not to look, but Akari only gets mad at that. Jiro's hand then slips, which in turn makes him slip, and end up on top of Akari. As the sound of his heart resonates loudly, she claims that he lost. But she notices that something's wrong as his face is serious, and tells him to get off. Ignoring her, he touches her cheek. She then accepts him, and as he's about to kiss her, she quickly stops him as he's begun bleeding from his nose. After that, she thanks the nosebleed for the save. Akari then explains to him that she just wanted him to take a breath, since he looks so impatient and panicked due to Shirori all the time, but he responds that he's also working hard for her, so that she can pair up with Minami as soon as possible. Though, Akari then thinks to herself that if they do end up changing partners, she won't live with Jiro anymore, but she tries to convince herself that it's the right decision. In the morning, Jiro notices that Akari is calling him by his last name, which she never does. Despite this, she seems to act normal, as she tells him she got some chocolates from Saki. She wants to eat with him later. At school, he and Sadaharu noticed a girl confess to Mei that she's in love with her, but she ends up turning her down. Later, Jiro remembers that Akari asked him to call her by her first name the other day, but isn't sure if that's the reason why she's behaving like this. Suddenly, Akari barges into the bathroom, and shows him that they ended up 8th in the ranking list. Now on their couch, she calls her Akari again. This makes her blush, and leads to her calling him by his first name again. He repeats her name for a few times, making her blush more, and then she asks him to call her by her first name from now on. Later at school, Mei notices that Jiro and Akari have been ranked 8th, and warns Shirori that she's at risk of losing Jiro. But then, a runaway ball hits her head, making her collapse. Now at the nurse's office, Mei has called Jiro up, and instructs him to check on Shirori. He finds her, and after talking for a while, she mentions how she still gets nervous with boys. Jiro that asks her if she's ever kissed Minami, but she denies it. She explains that if she kissed someone she loves, he would end up hating her due to her being terrible at it. But then she asked Jiro if she could practice with him. Jiro musters up the courage and goes for it, but she stops him. Just as that happens, Saki enters the nurse's office trying to find a place to nap, but ends up seeing two people on top of each other, not identifying who they are, which makes her apologize and leave. Jiro, on top of Shirori have ended up kissing each other. Astounded, they both acknowledge it was an accident as they panicked. Jiro then leaves. Later, Saki meets up with Akari, who keeps texting Jiro as he doesn't answer. She tells her that she saw a guy and a girl on a bed at the nurse's office, implying that they were having sexual relations. She then finally receives a text from Jiro, who tells her that he was with Shirori at the nurse's office. At night, she ends up arriving late at home feeling depressed. She finds Jiro sleeping on the couch, who's deep asleep because he eats some of her chocolates, since apparently they had whiskey in them. Unbeknownst to her though, Akari didn't even know until now. She then notices that he was actually waiting for her, so she takes off her clothes, and lays down right next to him. On noticing he can't hear anything, she begs him to wait on love while she's still his wife. In the morning, they both wake up, and a surprised Jiro asks her why she's only wearing her underwear, but she lies to him, telling him that they had slept together last night. He freaks out and asks her if he's not a virgin anymore. With the implication, she realizes that Jiro didn't actually do it with Shirori yesterday. She then tells him that she was actually lying. After some bickering, she blocks his ears so he can't hear her, and disappointedly tells him that she'd never do it with him knowing that he has Shirori. Shaori gets help from Saki and Matsumi in moving some bags, but they then drag Jiro and Sadaharu into helping them as well. But Shirori tries to avoid Jiro as she's still nervous because of what happened the other day. Later at park, Akari gets asked by Saki what she thinks about Jiro. She blushes and stutters, making her friends realize that she actually feels something for him. 
they cheer her up, and then later go their own way. Discussing what to do to help her make a decision, they decide to invite her to a festival. Later, Jiro helps Akari put on a yukata as Minami is also going to the festival, and she wants to look good for him. Almost done, she asks him to tuck in the edges, and he reluctantly does so, but this makes them both blush. Now at the festival, Akari meets up with her friends who are waiting for Manami and his friends. They arrive, but without Minami, and they explain that he was called up by his workplace at the last minute. Akari then wanders alone through the festival, wondering why she feels relieved that Minami didn't show up. Though after thinking for a bit, she decides not to give up on him, and tries to leave to his workplace. But right at that moment, she ends up seeing Minami walking alongside Shirori at another part of the festival. Though what Minami was actually doing was just accompanying her back from the supermarket. He then departs to his workplace, while she leaves back to their dorm. At home, Jiro gets jealous thinking about Akari being with Minami, but then tries to convince himself that he doesn't care. He then receives a call from Akari, who he hears crying. He quickly heads out to find her, but as he opens the door, he finds her sitting outside. She then hugs him, and cries her heart out. A bit later, they're now watching the fireworks from their balcony. Akari after teasing him for a bit, asks him if he's jealous, but he replies that he doesn't know. Surprised at this, she asks him to tie her ribbon any way he likes now. As she tries to show him how to finish it on her phone, it slips, but he grabs it, ending up with his arms around her. She holds his hands, and asks him to call her by her first name. He does so, and as she embraces him, they see heart-shaped fireworks explode in the sky. As that happens, he thinks to himself that he'll support her with Minami, but also wonders why he felt relieved when he saw that Akari was back home. But that's where the video ends. Let me know in the comment who you ship Jiro with. And I will also do a part 2 so make sure to subscribe to not miss it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.